<laughs> we take a new direction. Oh. I've been wanting to get my hands on your whammy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no. Welcome to the Distorted Trumpet Show, another exciting episode in the world of pedals. Um, we have some fun in store for you today, hopefully, and uh, another pedal in JJ's magic guitar case of truth. So, uh, what have you got, baby? <laughs> well, um, we're taking a new direction Ooh. today. Um, nice. It's... it's it's a classic. We're, we're going back to the late 70s. Okay. Um, it's something that you'll see on a lot of boards. Um, I mean, let's just go for it. Ready? Drill. <laughs> I was wondering when this one was going to come out. Nice. You knew it was coming. It's the whammy. It's the whammy has landed. Beautiful. So what's your first impression of it? I've been wanting to get my hands on. <laughs> I've been wanting to get my hands on your whammy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been. I've seen you playing with this, and I've seen other guitarists playing with it, and and I've kind of used. Uh, I've used the pitch shift right on some of my own pedals. Yeah. Um, but never like the full shebang. So yeah, dying yeah, to no. see what. What it does. Yeah, I mean, it's my first impression on getting it was how mega heavy it is. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it is, it's an absolute beast. Like a solid um, chunk of metal. Or... Yeah, it really is a is a chunky thing. Right. So there it is. Wow. Treadle. Um, so let's do a little bit of uh, whammy history. So the whammy is a pitch shifter. Um, it was started in 1979 by a company called Digitech um, and they've been through various iterations. The current one is a 5 or a 5 um, what's it called? XT, I forget, but this is a 4. Okay. Um, there's a whole thing about, do you understand um, the polyphonic and monophonic stuff? Vaguely, not to the point of being able to explain it to somebody, okay. though. <laughs> so, so the newer versions of the whammy are polyphonic. So if you right. play a chord yeah. as, as a guitarist, it's probably not going to affect you very much, but okay. as a guitarist, if you play a chord, yeah. it will. It has this polyphony, so multi, multi notes, so it can handle all those notes at one go. Okay. This one, the four, is, mo is it's not really, but it, it's monophonic. So, right you're kind of limited to playing notes or you play chords and they're really glitchy uh, okay but cool. if you use it correctly glitchy is good yeah, yeah so yeah. if you think about um um radiohead's iron lung they've okay. got that very classic intro that is it's like a really heavy chorus it's very glitchy right that's done on the them. on the whammy, right, and you can really use this sort of glitchy effect mm. to a to to good effect. Yeah. Um. In terms of the people who are famous for using it, there's Ed O'Brien from Radiohead, particularly Tom Morello, right, from Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. You know, all that crazy yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, that yeah. he was doing. Um. Jack White from yeah. White Stripes, Dimebag Daryl, right. Um. Dave Gilmore. Okay. He uses them as well, so they're really well used. They're a heck of a lot of fun. Mm. <laughs> um, you can you can get lost in this for a, for a long time. We'll go through some of the settings once we've got it plugged in. Okay. Um, cool. The final thing is that Digitech, um, as a company, have gone through like a bit of a tough history. So at some point, 
it was closed down in the mm. early 2010s. A whole team was sacked or something. Right. The company is now back and they're producing other really cool pedals like the, I've got the another pitch shifter, the, um, the Ricochet, they do the freak out, you know, that feedback. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so they're a cool company. I'm really glad they're back because they, yeah, yeah. they were out for a few years. Mm. Nice. Oh, and the other, the other thing is, remember our dream of rebuilding that pedal board of yes. the Japanese trumpet player? Yes. Man, remind me of his name? Toshinori Kondo. So I saw on every pedal board that he had, he yeah. had a whammy. So, so Toshinori Kondo, for those that are not familiar with him, is, uh, well, he's dead now, but he was um, this iconic, uh, at least in trumpet effects land, um, he was sort of, he played completely improvised, completely sort of tried to be in tune with the earth and stuff like this. And he did a lot of soundscapes with a bunch of different pedals and racks and all sorts of stuff. And this was always, we, we saw a video on, we want to try and recreate his pedal board at some point in the future. So this is the, the sense it's required. To, it's uh, absolutely mandatory. Required. All right, let's plug it in. Cool. Go. Let's go. Okay, so we're back. Digitech Whammy 4 is plugged in. Um, we'll start with a little go through from my side. You can have a little play. Um, cool. So in terms of signal chain, today I'm using my uh, Duesenberg Star Player TV. Um, no F hole, um, which is one of my favorite guitars. Um, we're going, we've got an AB box to share the signal, we go into the whammy, we go into a volume pedal, and then into the Black Star Amped 2, fairly flat setting, and then directly into a Marshall 1x12 cab in the room, so it should be fairly... Just a very neutral setting, right? Nice. Okay, so I'll just explain how this thing works. Yeah. Down like that is kind of off. Okay. So to activate, you move it up and down. Right. Uh, this is your on-off switch. Yeah. Um, and then, then um, this changes the function, and you'll light up each one of these. Okay. Um, now, um, this button is really dodgy, <laughs> so you might have to move it five times. Um, <laughs> You have got three types of settings. You've got the harmony settings. These are sort of the classic ones. Right. And you can see this one is down an octave and up an octave. Okay. Okay. So we'll have a look at that. And it goes through all these different things. So down a fifth, up a fourth, up a third, down, up right. a third. Oh no, it goes from a third to a fourth. It goes from a second to a third. This one, it goes from a flat third to a third. So a minor third to a major third. That's right. quite interesting. Um, you've got all these kind of whammy functions, right? This one's up two octaves, up one octave, down an octave, down two octaves, dive bomb, you know, like you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, drop tune, that drops it down, a cup, um, I think it goes down a semitone. Was it a tone? We'll find out. And then you've got these detune, which is really cool. So, um, let me just turn it on. Oh, hang on. So this is my clean tone. Turn it on. You've got it on this one. If you twiddle the twelfth, play the treadle. This. sort of down here like the minor third. See that that switch is really glitchy. See what I mean? Okay. Do you see it takes it from the minor yeah. Wow. So basically it's a harmony, so it's taking yeah, yeah, the signal yeah. and giving it back with yes. just a bit of 
juice. And then you can pick all these different settings, false and fifth, let's pick another one at random. Let's try that one. actually working <laughs> like so you're you're well, get you're getting you're getting the note and the digital note as well so so for example let's take let's take this one at the bottom okay turn it off so if i play this i'm just getting an a right now if i turn this on i will get a a with should be a minor third Plus a C or a C sharp, right. and in between you're getting okay. Who knows what? Okay, no. Wow. So, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so. Try these ones at the top. This shallow yeah. and so let's turn this off. So this is so for me. This is like a. Surprisingly, the uh, P trumpet high tech, <laughs> which has uh, so far been in every video because I love this instrument, um, through the Yamaha Silent Brass Mute, uh, cabled into JJ's rig. So, clean time. down with the harmony. Fine. Let's yeah, yeah. pick. It's good. I like this. I do like this uh, minor third, major yeah. third one. There we go. Clean. And this is going to be glitchy. So because this right. is just a harmonizer. So if you play an A, yeah, and you add on a third, you're going to get a C sharp. Okay. And then if you play, let's say you played a C sharp and you yeah. add on a third, it's not necessarily in the scale. So the I do have another pedal, which is TC Electronics Intelligent Harmonizer. Oh, okay. In which case you, you indicate 
I'm playing in the key, key of, of A major. Right. So and then it will move it up a third within that in scale. That this is not like that. This, this just, just moves it up a certain number of tones. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So give me a note. And we'll Fifth is interesting, just in terms of those notes. Right, so. so now we should add the fourth. moments when that is I think I think I found using this pedal well two things one the power supply is really annoying <laughs> this one takes uh, some really heavy duty power supply right um, the new one I can't remember if it's the five or the one that was after that this super polyphonic one yeah. has a normal nine volt power supply so that's the one thing I found okay um, the other thing that I found is that if you set it up right for the right song Yes, you can get something really great, um, but it, for yeah, me, it's almost more that. of a studio. Tool. It's not something that I, I'm yeah. able to use in a gig unless I have an up an octave, down an octave. So that's yeah. where I've used it. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, I can, I can appreciate it. it's like like any of the pedals, the ones that have got loads of buttons and you know clicking through stuff. Like using them in a in a gig, unless you're slick with it, is not going to be. No, it's not going to be fun. Right, let's try these choruses. I'm interested to see. Same solo. Can't get it there. Polyphonic, uh, yeah. a monophonic instrument, you don't get that same glitchiness coming no. through. It's more just single notes. More dynamic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try the proper standard whammy functions. Let's just move. Because there's two parts, right? You've got the harmony. So in the harmony, you've got your note and you're adding adding something on top. Yes. Okay. Here, you're mo changing your note. Just changing it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't press it. do like with this drop tune so because here you could almost use it as a sort of instantaneous yeah drop it down drop it down a little bit so. Sounds like it's playing with a trombone. <laughs> it does, you're yeah. right, it does. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the classic. Thing. 
for me this is the classic setting. Up and up. <laughs> Just uh, it's so much fun, especially if you if you're in in a something that's a bit freestyle, yes. you know, where you're not restricted, yeah, yeah, yeah. just banging that on, having a note that you're raising and dropping. That for me, that's my favourite setting. Just raising something yeah. up, dropping it, playing around like that. That note you made there, when yes, you, and then you, you just yeah, project yeah, yeah. it up two octaves. That's yeah, I mean, a lot it, of fun. it will be interesting as well. Like if you know, say me and you were doing a gig, yeah, like. We could have this, you know, this splitter plus this, and in theory, both of you is this. I think we could both but use it anyway. What, at the same time? I think that's what we were doing earlier. This should be both of us. Both use it at the same time, right? and then we would synch synchronize the uh, things. The, yes, that would be the very pitch cool. shift in that. That would be very That'd cool. be a lot of fun. That's something to explore. <laughs> also, the other thing as well is, uh, which has been kind of your mission from day one on this. Like, <laughs> for me to have one of these, I need to buy a bigger pedal board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which has been, if you watch any of the old episodes, um, JJ's original mission. Aside from exploring how pedals sound on trumpet versus a guitar, uh, is to uh, secretly and by stealth uh, get me to upgrade my pedal board to. <laughs> and I've so far I've failed. Yeah, yeah. He's since we started this, you bought two pedals. I bought two pedals, but I've swapped none of the them. ones that we've spoken about. <laughs> no, no, uh, and I've swapped them for the ones that are there. So I haven't added them. No. I've, I've replaced. But yeah, no, I think that is in terms of whether it works better on a trumpet or a guitar. I think it's just different for different purposes. Because of your chords, I, I think, you get a different thing. Yeah, so it. so I think again with the new version of the of the whammy, this this glitchiness. Yeah. Um, you can turn it on or off. You, I think there's a monophonic polyphonic switch. Okay. So because you know people thought it's this horrible noise. Let's yeah, 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 let's yeah. work a way to get out of it. But actually, people realise that that that's a fun noise. This kind yeah, of yeah, lo-fi. Yeah. Bit crushing, but you know this yeah, yeah, lo-fi yeah. is, is quite Absolutely, cool. Absolutely, yeah. So they they've kept it even in the newer version. So I love that. There's a time and a place for it, right? Definitely. It's not, not something you're going to be wanting in the middle of a twelve-bar blues, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. No, no. But um, but yeah, no. like you say, some you know improvised, you know, or experimental sort of or something where you are just letting rip. You yeah. know, I think it's yeah. uh, no, actually. I, I would say this is a must-have. Big fan. This is a must-have pedal. I'm um, hundred percent. Right. You have. I mean, the Chaos Pad, which is like yes. my favourite pedal ever, just because it's ridiculous. Go back and watch that episode. I've <laughs> seen it. I understand that you don't need one of those, but the, the, one of these for me is it's a requirement. No pressure. No pressure. Right. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. All right. Right. Okay. We're done. I think we're done. Yeah. All Thank right. you very much for watching. Appreciate all of the views and all the support. It's. Uh, blown our minds in terms of uh, <laughs> how many views and everything that we're yeah. getting subscribers so if you're a subscriber or a viewer thank you very much okay. we appreciate it a lot and uh, we will see you next week at, or we will see you uh, tomorrow on the uh, shorts because we have <laughs> shorts every day yeah absolutely right, right. see you later thank cheers you.